Most men are not terrible. If you were stuck in the woods, would you rather be encountered by a bear or a random man? Bear. Don't trust men. Take my chances with a bear. I'm going to be encountered by a bear. I bear. They won't question what you're wearing if you got attacked by a bear. You could run away. You could protect yourself. But a man, he's going to be like, you need to be in my space. I'm a man. Why you not in my space? That just goes to show you where this society is headed. The eradication of men and manhood. Women constantly paint men as the very epitome of evil. Evil! But yet, ladies, your lives are 100% dependent on a man. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click on that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. Very deceitful. A random man. A lot of weightlifting. And most men are not terrible. A lot of them are, but not all of them. Do you think it's crazy that so many women said bear instead of a person? No, just because we're strong, it doesn't mean we don't deserve to be protected. We want to be protected by men, but we want to feel like we don't need a man to do what we need to do. But all we want to know is that we feel supported by our counterparts the way we've always supported them through our society. Let me break it down. That job you work on, who's your boss? Even though it might be a woman, who is her boss? Or her boss? Who created the company that you work for? Who built the cars that you drive in? Who built the house or the apartment or the studio or the high rise that you live in? Who built the car that you drive? Who paved the roads that you drive on? Who drives the public transportation that you ride to and from work? Who laid down the train tracks? So for you to say I would rather spend time in the woods with a random bear, you don't like men, you don't want to be around men, you think men are bad and evil, and you think we're a big, bad boogeyman, how are you pregnant? You said I'm a hattest kid, you don't care if he's here or not, if these niggas ain't shit, tell me why you bitches stay. Getting pregnant, getting pregnant, getting pregnant, getting pregnant. Why are there so many single moms in the world? Why are there so many abortions? Why are there so many women that don't know who the father is? But you mean to tell me that you would rather spend time in the woods with a banger or a random man? No, let's flip it. You would rather spend time in the woods with a poogie. Oh! That's the reason why you would rather be with a banger than a random man because the banger it's going to treat you exactly like Poogie. You lose. And this goes to show you, fellas, all going to choose a Poogie. If you are a modern woman in today's world, you're going to choose a Poogie. That bear represents Poogie and Ray Ray. That bear represents the bad guy that you choose over the decent guy. That bear represents you rejecting decent guys yet again for the choice to date a punky. But you want to get on the internet and say, you don't need a man, you don't need this, you don't need that, but yet you're pregnant, you have baby daddies, you have children outside of wedlock, you're not getting married. And see, this is what we're trying to say, replace the bear with Pungu. Oh! Because...
because a woman would date a pookie and Ray Ray before she would date a halfway decent guy. Oh! And then you want to complain that there's no good men out here or you're not safe around men because men are dangerous and men are this stuff. That's all this bear versus random man in the woods thing is. It is an anti-man agenda. Yep. They are trying to say you are a man. You are dangerous. You are unsafe. So therefore, we're going to go with a random bear. But what you don't understand, ladies, is that you don't know what you're going to get with the random bear. And you don't know what you're going to get with the random man, but you're more likely to get eliminated by the bear. A lot of you don't know nature and it shows. Do you not understand that a bear is more deadly in the woods? Because you don't know what type of bear it is. A lot of you haven't been on a nature trail and it shows. If it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. If it's white, good night. Step one, determine the type of bear who has challenged you. There are three basic species of bears in North America, black, brown, or white. Brown bears, also known as grizzly bears, are essentially unstoppable. Your only option is to play dead by dropping to the ground with your face down and covering the back of your neck with your hands. If your performance is convincing enough, the brown bear will toss you around a bit and then eventually leave you alone. White bears, also known as polar bears, are generally friendly, but if upset, can typically be subdued by a humble offering of ice-cold Coca-Cola. Black bears are the most common type, and it is this species we will focus on for the remainder of our training. Apart from their fur, they can be identified by their tall pointed ears, short claws, and lack of any distinct shoulder hump. The black bear stands approximately two to three and a half feet tall to the shoulder and four to seven feet tall when standing on its back legs. Step two, commit to the fight. Black bears must be faced head on. Any sign of cowardice on your behalf may result in death or dismemberment, often both. Resist the urge to run. Bears can reach speeds of 30 miles per hour and typically enjoy the cardio workout that chasing prey provides. You'll be better off conserving your energy for the fight ahead. Avoid climbing trees to create distance. The one thing bears like more than chasing things is climbing things, and having the high ground means essentially nothing against an enemy with teeth like theirs. Your only chance is to stand your ground. They want men to be the poster child of LSA. They want men to be the poster child, but then they fail to realize that women, if you hang around the wrong people long enough, something bad is going to happen. Now, I'm not saying in all cases, no man should overstep a boundary. No means no. We're fully aware of that. But y'all make it seem like this happens every single day, and it doesn't, and the stats prove it. Y'all just hate men. It's evident. The way you treat men, the way you talk to men, the way you degrade men, the way you argue with men on social media, women hate men. So when you spew anti-man rhetoric, what is your daughter going to say? What is your son going to say? See, y'all don't like that. Y'all tell black men, well, don't you have a mom? Don't you have a sister? Don't you have a daughter? Don't you have aunties? Well, listen, black woman. Don't you have a father? Don't you have an uncle? a granddad, a son, what would they think of you hearing you say that you would choose a bear over a random man? Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content, You'll see me at the end of this video right after this on the end screen. Like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, 
Philippines. 